But this one I especially love to introduce because it's my husband. Right. Yeah, all right. It's my all husband. Right. And he's not all he's not able to be with us all Sundays. <laughs> Amen. But we praise God that his schedule is open today. Amen. We put him on the calendar. We got on his calendar. Amen. <laughs> we got on his calendar and we were able to get him to pray for this calendar. You would receive our very own apostle, Ernest Williams, and just say, preach, 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 preach the word, preach the word, and don't hold back, and don't hold and back. Jesus say, come on, give, give a hand, got to pray. And that's what the python spirit is about. The python spirit comes to wrap itself around you and to suck the very godly life out of you. It's not a natural attack, but it's a spirit. And I'm expecting for the python just to latch on and kill it. But the python's intention is to suck the very life out of you. Right. Before he devours you. Hear me now. That python wrapped itself around the mouse. And I looked away, thought the mouse was gone. The python unraveled itself. Went into the corner of the cage. And I was asking, why is it that he did not just eat the mouse instantly? He did not have to because he had already taken the life mm. out of him. Mm. So it couldn't fight no more. Come on, Lord. It couldn't run in God. Mm. Don't allow the enemy to wrap himself around you. Meaning, don't get caught up in the cares of this life. Yes. Don't get caught up with what you don't have. Where you haven't gone. Where you, where, where you can't seem to get past. Get in God. Yeah. And the very life that you need. Mm -hmm. The very life that you need yeah. spiritually. You will have. Your know, physical wooden collar. Which joins two animals. Usually oxen. To enable them to pull together. Mm -hmm. In the Bible days it was mostly oxen. But you see they'll put horses together. And it's for a purpose. The purpose for oxen was to plow the land. Without that, without that, without that yoke, that oxen would not be controlled. That's right. That's right. You could, we're not strong enough. That's how strong the oxen is. You can't just put a leash on the oxen and walk them like a dog. That's right. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. That's right. That oxen is just that strong. But once that yoke is around the oxen's neck. That control takes place. So that's why you want to be yoked up with God. Yes. Because his burden is light. Yes. And his yoke is easy. Yes. Mm -hmm. If I had two people yoked up, that's what we used to call it when we were growing up, yoke, getting yoked up. I can control them because every time they move, I tighten up. Right. And it takes the air from them. Right. So what does it do? It stops you. Good. God is easy. Good. His yoke is easy. It's, his yoke just hangs on you. Yeah. Because there's no struggle. Right. There's no struggle when you're with God. Uh -huh. God wants us to be able to be controlled by his spirit. Yes. <clears throat> Not by natural things. Not by being yoked up with a collar. But we need to be yoked up with his word. Yes. We need to be yoked up with praise. We need to be yoked up with worship. Yes. But we find ourselves getting caught up in the cares of this life. What we have and what we don't have. That's right. mm -hmm. And don't realize that those things are coming to suck the very life out of us. Wow. That's right. Because we're putting too much emphasis on it. I'm not saying it's not good to have things, but when the emphasis goes on those things and not on God, 
Yeah. That's when that Python is slowly wrapping the And Pythons aren't no. fast at all. Mm -hmm. uh, Not at all. The enemy. He will break the oppressive yoke of the enemy. As I said, when you have someone yoked up in this manner, where I go, they go. Where I tell them to go, they're going to go. If I tell them to go right, they're going to go right. Because they have no choice. You have no choice. When you yoked up with the enemy in this manner, he's, he got you like a rag doll. Because where he tells you to go, you're going to go. That's right. Because you're digging deeper and deeper and you're wondering, how did I get so far out here? Because I did not heed the call of the wound one time. At one time, the horse was wild. They had to tame them. They put a they put a bridle in their mouth. Yes. But we don't want we don't want a bridle in our mouth. We don't want to bridle our tongues. Yes. Not realizing that that bridle comes to control our yeah, tongue. Yeah, yeah. It's not gonna stop you from breathing. Thank you, Lord. It may look like a restraint on the horse, but they can breathe very yeah, well. Come on. That's what we want. Lord, bridle my tongue. Yes. Because this tongue will cause me to put on the yoke of the enemy. Yes. That's right. And with a horse, the bridle goes with the harness. The harness is what? To control the horse. It's a form of a yoke because it comes in to control That's right. something. But what we're, what we're not doing is we're not speaking out against this thing. And like she was, we were saying, uh, speak those things that are not as though they were. That's what God, that's faith. God turn, that turns God on and lets him know that you don't want to be yoked up with the enemy. Because we thinking that the one I have on the right, I'm yoked up with, on the left, they're, they're in the same mind. They're, they're going the same direction. But they're not. And we have to check who we're with. Is what this person saying, is what this person doing of God. If it's not of God, I have to come unyoked. I cannot be, we're not equally yoked. And Corinthians speaks on that. Yes. And it's not just unbelievers, those that are not saved. There's some of us that are saved that we're yoked up with that we should not be yoked up with. Because they don't believe the way we believe. They don't see what we see. And it's in the house. It's in the house that we have to walk away from those that we're yoked up with. Because they're leading us down a wrong path. 2 Corinthians 6 14 says be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers mm -hmm. for what fellowship hath righteousness Come on. with unrighteousness yes. Yes. and what communion hath light with darkness because if you're not on the proper path we're in darkness we have to be on the right path Yes. We're going, we're leading ourselves to destruction if we're on the wrong path. And that's what the yoke is for, to control us and to tighten up around us when we're leading, when we're going in the wrong direction. Because God is leading us, but if we don't want to be led, we're pulling against. And that's when the yoke becomes heavy. The yoke is easy because it's just there. Because that's how easy the anointing of God is on your life. But what happens is 
when we buck against it, we go this way, we go that way, things tighten up around us. And we don't realize that we're not properly yoked. What we've done is we've lost our position in the yoke. And you change your position in the yoke, you're putting back on the oppression. You're tightening up the yoke that was intended to be easy and light. But we, what we do is when we get in God, and we get so far in God, we feel like we don't want, we don't see ourselves going further. If you can't see where you're going and the ability for you to make it where you're going, you'll never make it because you're going to die. Because what's, what hap what's happening spiritually is you're not taking in what you need to take in to get to that next point because of the fact that you don't believe that you can make it. You don't believe that you can be that minister. You don't believe that you can be that intercessor. You don't believe that you can be that prayer warrior. You don't believe that because the devil, devil brings across your mind all the dirt that you've done. All the negative that you've done. And that's when that yoke gets right back around you. God never intended for it to be heavy. But it gets heavy when the pressure stops coming on. Because guess what? It's a decision. It's a very simple decision. I'm going to do what God my, my eight says. Boom, boom is with me. Let's if you ain't with me, God. I'm going with God. Yes, yes. But we are, some of us are afraid to, to make that decision. Yeah, it's a very God. simple one. Because with God, I can do all oh, things. Oh, yes. Without God, eh, I'm limited. Extremely limited. Mm -hmm. And I'm held back. And I'm not held back because of the man. Come on. Come on. We hold ourselves back. Right. Because we tend to, like you said, speak the negative. Wow. Because we don't see the money. We don't see the car. We don't see the house. We don't see being able to give someone encouragement. <laughs> We don't see being able to be prophetic. We see that as a burden. And that's where God has us to go. And it's for His glory. So we can't even handle His glory. It's for Him to get it. We are told not to be yoked together with unbelievers because the significant, they significantly, significantly influence the direction an outcome of our moral decisions and spiritual activities. The very ones that we yoked up with. This is my buddy, I can't let him go. Yeah. Elder Boone, he's been with me through some rough times. But I can't let him go, the devil is alive. I have to let him go to make it to where God wants me to go. Yes, yes. Because when I lose one, God's going to bring another one that I'm going to be able to be yoked up with and move just as smooth. Yes. You move just as smooth. Yes. But you have to be willing to sometimes stand alone. That's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. I'm going to have to stand alone in this yoke by myself yes. until God gives me somebody to be yoked up with. Because guess what? I'm going to move Come on. how God tells me to move. Come on. And I'm going to be able to walk around in that yoke by myself until he gives me someone to be yoked up with. And realize that the yoke, the, 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 the pressure doesn't change. If I'm yoked up with Deacon Will, or if I'm not yoked up with Deacon Will, guess what? I'm still moving at the same pace God wants me to move at. And it's not choking me. Because remember, his yoke is easy. Yes. And his burden is light. Yes. So that's very light. Oh, I'm being afflicted. This is light. Yeah. It's a light affliction. It's a light affliction. Yeah. Oh, my body just don't seem to want to operate. It's not working. It's a light affliction. Yeah. Come on. Because as long as I have breath in my body, God can turn things around. Yeah. Because the second I take my last breath, when I take my last, I don't know when it's going to be. 
But until that point comes, I'm not. This is life. That's life. This is my daily bread This is my daily bread Your very word Spoken to me This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence, living in me. This is.
It may not feel physically as light, yeah. but it's a light affliction because look, wow. when you see the reward on the other side, yes. it was worth it. Yeah. But you gotta get to it. Yes. You can't get you can't quit in the fight. Yeah. You can't quit in the middle of the fight and say, I'm done. I'm not pushing. Because you and the child won't make it. You won't make it. You gotta keep pushing. But you gotta you gotta listen. You gotta you gotta push when a doctor says push. You gotta push when God says push. Because things won't go, won't turn out the way that God intends them to turn out. I'm not going to go and speak to Deacon Alec and say what I want to say. I'm going to go and say what God says so the results can be on the greater side. Because when you push, and you're not supposed to push. Yes. Come on. I know some y'all women, y'all women, y'all know. Yes, sir. You yes. tear up some stuff. Yes. 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 That's the reason why the doctor said, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Yes. Don't, don't push. Yes. Don't push yet. Not yet. Come don't on. push yet. Well, it's not, it's not ready. Yes. Oh. Oh. situation, you're getting, you're getting, it's getting tighter around your neck. And if I put my hands around your neck and squeeze tight enough and shut off the air, how many seconds does it take off your air? I believe it's like 45 seconds. And I've, I've caused some damage because guess what happens? Once the air goes, the brain is not functioning properly because what's happening? The blood is not flowing like it's supposed to. So, so that's what now you talking about a heavy yoke 
That's what that heavy yoke is doing. It's squeezing the very life out. Eight seconds, you blacked out. Guess what? You can't even fight no more when you blacked out. My Lord. When you black out, you just blue. Out. So it only takes eight seconds. So guess what? It ain't time to play. Yeah. Ain't no time to play with the enemy. Come on, come on. Because his intention is to black you out. Yeah. And when you black out, he can do any and everything he wants My in your God. life. God. When you black out spiritually, Mm. You're blind. You're blind. Yes. We can walk you around here. We can ask you. Come on, Alex. We can ask you. I ain't gonna help you. I ain't gonna hold you up. But we can. We can. Y'all, I'm blacked out. And you just being dug around. This is what the saints are doing. Dragging us around. Being dug around because of the fact that what we fell asleep on our job. And we allow the enemy to choke us out. And we lay on you. Take my breath away. Then you breathe new life into me. Only you take my breath. Take my breath.